Hey, this is The Catalyst, David Large Smith, and this is The PSA. You know, one of my problems is that I'm a bit of a perfectionist, right? And so when I start to do these videos, you know, I'm trying to get them to be perfect and one take or what. Yeah. Look, what I want to talk to you about is the principle of manifestation, right? Principle of manifestation is a, a personal development, positive psychology, success theory concept that states what you think about determines how you feel and how you feel determines how you move through the world and how you take action. And we all know that the actions that we take, right, lead to the results that we get, right? And the results that we get validate the thoughts that we have. So do you see the cycle? It can be a, uh, it can be a vicious cycle or it can be a virtuous cycle, right? Your thoughts lead to how you feel. Your feelings lead to how you act. Your actions lead to the results that you get and your results validate your beliefs. You see that? So you have to take conscious control of your thoughts, right? You have to start with, hey, what am I thinking about? What do I spend my time thinking about? Am I thinking about the possibilities? Am I, am I seeing myself in a better place? Um, you know, do, do I do I believe that it's possible for me to, to move through my current state to a different state? And that's the key, right? That's the key. And that's really just a little the tip I wanted to leave you with. I'm going to expound on this point a little later. But, you know, what all that said, you know, you, you, you look in here and there's my vision wall back here, right? It started out as a vision board. You have to consciously manufacture what you're thinking about and control what your mind is doing because your mind is running. It's all kind of stuff is happening. If you've ever tried to meditate, you know what I'm talking about. Your mind is just continually running and you have to control it so you can focus it on what you want because what you focus on and what you decide that you want, your mind is going to work to bring into reality. And so again, what you think about leads to how you feel. And if you're feeling good and you're, you're feeling optimistic and you have an attitude of gratitude and you believe that things are possible for you, you're going to move through the world differently, right? And then you're going to activate a whole bunch of other things like the law of attraction because you're going to attract to you the same kind of energy that you're giving off, right? So if you're giving off positive energy and, 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 and an attitude of possibility and an attitude of gratitude, then guess what happens in the world? You start to get lucky, right? And it's actually not luck. It is the law of attraction working in your favor. It's the law of expectation working in your favor. It's the law of belief working in your favor. So all of these laws, right? You can't break these laws. You can only break yourself upon the laws, right? And they work for all of us equally. And so you can either live in harmony in awareness of these laws, or you can live in ignorance and suffer. That's what I wanted to hit you with. Mental toughness here is the key, right? Mental toughness is the key. How do you develop mental toughness? I'm gonna go over that in some detail, but I just wanted to just give you that quick piece of information while it was on my mind uh, and, and try not to worry about being so uh, perfect with my videos. All right.